Hi, I'm with Badger Basket, here to go through the assembly instructions for the White Rose Dolled High Chair. Before we get started, make sure you look at all your pieces. If you have anything damaged or missing any parts, contact Badger Basket as shown in the end of the instructional video. So let's get started. For part one, you will need part A, which is the left side, part B, which is the right side, you will need two of the C dowels, you will need part D, which is the footrest, and you will need six of the screws part L. So to start, what I'm first going to be doing is taking this part A, the right side. When looking at part A, you are going to see on the inside it has these two larger holes here and the two smaller holes here. This is going to be the inside where everything comes off from. So first what I'm going to do is put in these large dowels. These dowels have the screw holes on each of the ends. So when they go into place here, we're going to be screwing from this side to hold them in place. So first I'm going to put both of those on. Now for this demonstration, I'm going to be using a drill to make it a little bit easier. You may also use a drill, but if you do, please put the torque settings on low so you don't strip any of the pieces. Otherwise, feel free to use a hand Phillips screwdriver. So once you have the two dowels in place, next what we're going to be doing is putting on the footrest. So when looking at the footrest, you're going to see a dowel and a hole, and then this curvy edge. This curvy edge is going to be facing to the front here. So these two holes, this back one will be for the dowel, and the front one is where we're going to be putting a screw through. So I'm going to put that dowel into that back place, and put a screw on this side going through that footrest rail and get this one screwed into place. The last thing we're going to be doing is putting on B, this other side here, to match essentially exactly what we did on this first part. So the two larger dowels will go through those bottom holes and then the footrest rail will be the dowel and the screw. So I'm going to lay this down to make it a little bit easier because then I can just lay this piece right on top here. Just make sure again that this dowel goes into that hole here. For step two, you will need part G, the seat. You will need part F, the right arm, part E, the left arm, and two of the L screws. So for this step, what we're going to be doing is putting the armrest onto the seat. When looking at the seat, one side will have four indented screw holes and two kind of here more on the outside that are not. You'll know when you see the bottom if you see the warning label. Um, you'll also see some inserts here. That's the bottom side. So make sure you're looking at the top here. So what we're going to be doing is putting these armrests on. These armrests on the littlest side here, you'll see a screw hole. This is going to go into this little screw hole that's on the outside here. So this one will be going like so. Okay. Now when looking at the armrest, you're going to see a side that has these inserts. These inserts you want to be facing towards the inside. So when you're looking at it, you'll see the inserts here, but from the outside you will not see them. So I'm going to put a screw from the back side here. That'll go right through that, that side rest. So I'm going to screw this one into place. And then we're going to be putting this, the other one on the other side here. Again, make sure these inserts are facing towards the inside. This little screw hole here will correspond to this little hole out here. 
we're going to put a screw in from this side and screw this one into place. For step three, you will need part H, which is the back. You will need four of the L screws, and you will need this piece that we made in step two. So for this step, we're going to be putting the back of the chair onto this seat and the armrest that you put into place. When looking at this back, you'll see that one side has the nice rose design and has four of these screw holes. These four screw holes are going to be connecting with these two here that were part of the armrest and two down here which is part of that seat. So when looking at the chair, I'm going to turn this around, you want to see the rose design and then you want to make sure that this is all matching up and we're going to screw from the back side here. So when looking from this side, we're going to have the two that will connect with these armrests. And then you're going to have the two that connect with the seat. So let's get all four of these screwed in. For step four, you will need this assembly piece that we put together in step one, this assembly piece that we put together in step three, and four of the L screws. So for this part, we're going to be connecting the seat with the base here. When looking at the base, the footrest rail has the curved part that is facing forward. That is the front of the high chair piece. On the top, you're going to see four screw holes. This is what we're going to be screwing from the top to connect this top to the base. So make sure when looking at the high chair that you have the rose part facing forward and the curved footrest rail facing forward. When looking at the chair, you'll see the four screw holes here. That's what's going to be screwing down into the base to hold it into place. So we're going to get all four of these lined up and we'll get them screwed down. For step five, you will need part J, which is the seat pad. You will need two of part M's, which are the self-adhesive grip tape strips. You will need part I, which is this tray. And you will need part K, which is two of the smaller screws and the plastic inserts. So first what I'm going to be doing is putting the seat pad into place. The seat pad, if you look on one side, you're going to see these two strips here, which are part of that adhesive strip tape. What I'm going to do is take this so that you've got the rougher side, which will adhere to here. So if you put that on and push it down nice and firm, it should kind of be stuck into place there. So let's put the same one on over here. So that grippy side is facing down and firmly attach the two. So next what you're going to do is when looking at this adhesive strip, you're going to peel off that uh, piece of paper here so that you have the sticky side there. I'm going to do that on both sides. When looking at the seat pad, there's going to be a tag here on the side. I think it fits best if you have the tag facing towards the side of the chair and having the adhesive strips one in the front and one in the back. So make sure you have it nicely placed and centered over the high chair here. Because once you stick it down, it's very difficult to move and it might lose its adhesive. So let's get it put down and then we're going to firmly push it down where those two adhesive strips are. So it's stuck into place. This way now if you move the high chair at all, the seat pad will not be lost. The last thing we need to assemble is the tray. When looking at the tray, You'll notice on the tray arms that there's these indented holes. What we need to do is put the plastic inserts into these indented holes. So I'm going to put one on each side here. 
just like so. Once you have them into place, it's going to go over the top and kind of rest on these arms that we put into place earlier. Now there's holes on each side of these arms here, you can see, where you're going to try to line up those inserts to match up to. And then you're going to screw from the inside to get them to line up. So once you have them lined up, we're going to be putting the screw in from the inside, going through the arm, through the plastic insert, and then into the tray arm. Now for this step, I find it a little bit easier to use a hand filled screwdriver, just because we don't have much room to use the drill. So I'm going to screw this one into place here. and repeat with the other side. And that concludes the assembly for the white rose doll high chair. Remember, if you have any questions or concerns, to contact Badger Basket as shown in the next clip. Badger Basket thanks you for watching and have a great day.